Gimana rasanya kerja sama dengan Coach Steve lagi? <laughs> And the one million dollar question, everybody probably, you know, asking for this question. Uh, are you gonna come back? Day two, give me two claps. Two claps. Two claps. Two claps. Two claps. All right, today, okay, what we're looking for, we're gonna do a couple of different things, teach you guys some new things, but the biggest thing is let's try to improve, okay? We're gonna work on some of the similar drills, some new drills. Uh, if we do anything that we did yesterday, let's try to improve upon that, okay? Let's try to get better. Some of the things you guys are gonna try to remember is see, see how you can get better, okay? One thing I wanna try and challenge you guys is get out of your comfort zone, all right? Get some energy going, maybe yell a little bit. We're gonna be focusing on touches and talks, okay? So uh, a little bit of celebration, high fives, body bumps, all that type of stuff, okay? We're looking to do some of that stuff today. You guys will see how we we'll implement that, all right? But uh, let's go have fun like always and bring that energy, okay guys? All right, here we go. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Energy on three, one, two, three. Energy! <laughs> one of the greatest point guards, okay, in NBA history, Canadian, Steve Nash. Okay, so we're gonna Nash dribble back to our line. So all four players, dribble with me, right hand, right hand, come on, dribble, 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 right hand, we get here, we're gonna go right, go right, 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 right. Steve Nash, keep it dribble, keep it dribble, keep it dribble, keep it dribble, boom, make a pass. Okay, make a pass back to your line. Okay, so we're gonna Nash dribble. When we dribble, Okay, the whole thing is the reason it's called Steve Nash, he's got his head up, he's keeping the ball alive. Get up here. He's keeping the ball alive. So he's here, he's here, he's here, he's looking, he's looking, he's looking, and then he makes his pass back to his line.
When Coach Brown makes that cut, now we're gonna get to the corner. You guys got it? This player's gonna get to the corner here. Now, Coach, all right? Exactly. But he's gonna wait, okay? He's gonna wait, right? I'm gonna make that drive where? Towards the where? Towards the basket. Yesterday, everyone was making the drive where? Like this. Well, I don't think you're gonna score. You can never score playing like that. Right? You can only score a play like this. Oh, maybe I'll shoot it. Boom, then I make the pass. Okay? This is the guy here. Who was coach? Who was here? Okay? He's going to make that drive. I'm going to slide. Right here. Boom, I'm going to make that dribble. What are you going to do? Back door again. Okay? Everybody, you play every spot once. Just like we did yesterday. You guys all should be reminded. Alright? The only thing we're doing is moving the slide up a little bit. Okay? Same drill as yesterday. Drive towards the basket. If we drive, don't drive sideways. Drive towards the basket. Stop on two and make a pass. So serious, man. Coaching little kids, got all the notes. <laughs> hey, no, because uh, I want to just teach them, teach them some things that are outside of like mm. just the dribbling and skills and all that. What's the goal tonight? So we're gonna do some defense, uh -huh. some shooting, and then some competition. So we're gonna learn defense today, which probably they don't do a lot. So we'll see. Number one defense in the IBL. Oh, man. <laughs> I know. All right, you gotta know it. You gotta learn it. All right, uh, coaches will play you because of that. Even if you're just a defender, you can play because of that. Okay? Even if you can't do anything on offense or you're not there yet in your offensive game, in your career, if you're just a tough defender and you play well on defense, you can gain minutes. That's the goal for everybody to play. Okay, So uh, take this very serious, and we do as well here at Pereira as well, Okay, as well as for the left. Okay, now, give me Coach Brown up with the ball. Okay, I'll be the example. Okay, what we're going to have is we're going to play in the corner. Okay. All right, this is how it's gonna be. It's gonna be a three-person drill. Okay, Coach Brown is gonna basically start at half court. Okay. All right, he's gonna, we're, gonna zig it, we're gonna zigzag it all the way to the three-point line. So he's gonna dribble it down, boom. Dribble it down, boom. Dribble it down, okay, to there. Okay, all right, all right. Then he's gonna make that pass to the wing, okay? What we're gonna teach, all the coaches are talking about, okay, is getting, okay, off the ball, one pass away. So boom, he gets one pass away here. Okay, right here, one pass away. The ball's gonna go back to coach. I'm gonna close out, okay, with my hand up. Once that happens, I'm gonna go around coach. Okay, like this, he's gonna drop the ball on that side. He's gonna drop the ball on that side. Okay, I'm gonna go finish. I'm gonna go finish the land. You guys got it. Then coach Brown is gonna be the defender. Coach will come out, I will be in the corner. The person that shot the layup is gonna go to the corner. So we're working on defensive side. We're working on the gap, we're working on closeout, and then we go around, we drop the ball, and we go score. All right, we're gonna do that half and half. Half and half. I wanna see some energy, I wanna see some talking. All right, I wanna see some defense. Here we go, here we go. Go, here we go, here we go, half and half.
do a player. We're gonna focus on everything, guys. Once the ball passes here, okay, I'm gonna get off. Right here. Here, here, here. I'm gonna put my hand up when I close out. You went like this, okay? Put your hand up when you close out. Then you get a chance to go around. If you don't put your hand up, you can't get left. Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Do it again.
say, same exact thing. I recommend to go slower, okay? I don't recommend to try to go fast, okay? I recommend to go slower. If you feel good, you can go fast. You do not need to go fast. Okay, again, if it's rhythm and time, we need to feel for our body and the ball. Okay, here we go. talking about movement, we're talking about dancing. It's going to be hard for some of you guys, but that's okay. Hard is uh, probably the best way. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to move. Move, 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 move. We're going to move our feet. Every time I go, I'm going to go this way, the ball takes me. I'm going to go this way, the ball takes me. I follow the ball. Follow the ball.
okay? So two lines, right? Two lines. So two lines like this, you can come line here and do it like this. Okay, this line will be with the ball. Okay? Uh, one line here, sorry, one line. Okay, so you have no ball, right? This line has the ball. Okay, we're gonna work on pocket shooting, pocket pass shooting. Yes, we're not doing pick and roll stuff, but it is important to know how to make these sort of underhand passes or uh, intermediate passes. Okay, so we're gonna be on the three, we're gonna be underneath the three-point line, excuse me, underneath the three-point line. Okay, now when I dribble, he's gonna, that's gonna trigger him to slide. Okay, and then I'm gonna make a pocket pass, and what's gonna happen is he's gonna catch that pocket pass, he's gonna take two dribbles, and he's gonna take a shot. Okay, right there. What does that mean for the next player who's gonna take a pass? Now, Coach Brown is stepping in, he's behind the line. I'm here, you took the shot, so you're out now, and Coach Brown is gonna bounce it, and under the road, you're gonna do that pocket pass. Now I'm going to dribble, and I'm going to take a shot again. There you go. We're going to take a dribble. Boom. We're going to pocket pass. Boom. We're going to take a shot right there. Everybody got the drill? All right. So what we're doing is we're going to make five. Five going this way. Then we're going to move the line. Coach Brown will be here. Right? We make five in that spot as a team. Now we're going to move the line here. Coach Brown will be there. He's going to dribble the ball with which hand? His right hand this time. He takes that pound dribble. I slide over. Taking the shot towards the baseline. So we're making five towards the baseline. Everybody got it? So we got a group on this side and we got a group on this side. Let's 
left is bent. You know why left is bent? You gotta learn about who's, who's left handed in the NBA. Who's left handed is special. Left is the best. Okay, here we go. Okay, here we go. Two claps. Today was good. A couple more things I want to add. We're going to finish it up tomorrow with a little bit more competition. All right, we're going to have a little bit more fun tomorrow. But so far, I like what I'm seeing. You guys are competing, okay? You guys are learning, and you guys are doing pretty much what we're asking, even through mistakes, even through failure. All right, the best lesson is that. All right, we've all failed here. Everybody has done something wrong or made a mistake or fell down or missed a shot or turned the ball over. All right, but it's how you react and how you respond. That's the biggest thing for me, right? A lot of you, a lot of you are responding well. You miss, you miss, you miss, you mess up, you do it again, you get it right. Okay, that's the best thing you can keep learning in life. All right, is having that resiliency, okay? Being able to get down and get back up. All right, that's the most important thing. But again, tomorrow I need even more energy. I need even more. All right, I'm going to force it on you guys a little bit more. I'm going to get you guys a little bit uncomfortable more tomorrow. we got to finish the day really strong tomorrow. Finish the camp really strong. All right? Please, what I do need to see is the people that won the game yesterday, Right? And then the people that had the one-on-one -on -one finish uh, here, come see me after, okay? And then tomorrow we're going to have even bigger prizes. So be ready tomorrow. But Coach Brown knows, and even Rocky knows, I give prizes, right? That's what I like to do. So if you want to win tomorrow something, I'm not telling you what it is, okay? Then just come with a little bit more energy and come ready to go tomorrow, okay? okay. All right, here we go. And the class come early. <laughs> okay, who's who? Where's, I need the team from yesterday first. Okay, come around, come to Santa, so come to Santa C, right? <laughs> come on. Let's go. We're doing under the table business. Under the table Woo! business. <laughs> you were the team yesterday? Yeah. 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 It's good. Okay, go back. Now you go back. Okay, the people that won the one on one, let's go. One on five, one on five, let's go. There you go. Woo! Woo! All right, thank you. Here we go. Woo! No, I did it. <laughs> what? Oh, what? Oh, the... Oh, the... Oh, the... Oh, the... Oh, the... Coach, yes, uh, first of all, how are you doing? Doing well. Doing, doing well? well? Yeah. Did you get any time off yet after the playoff? Not yet, man. We, mm. we already started working a little bit. I'm you know, doing some stuff with my family back home and just mm. kind of re resting and resetting a little bit, but still got my mind on it and uh, going home soon to get a little bit of a break. Okay, yeah. and then now you're <laughs> coaching again, training. Yes. Uh, with for the lap, but so far for you, what do you think about Brom and you know what he's doing for for the lap? Oh, it's big time! I think I'm so proud of him. I mean, mm -hmm. I knew him before this this uh, company he has, and now it's for the lab, and I've seen him grow it from the bottom, and uh, it's a beautiful thing to see. So, uh, so proud of him. So proud of what he's doing for himself, as well as the city of Bandung. Uh, really, just bringing the basketball culture even higher. Um, I think you know this city is really a basketball city at this point. And, is really buzzing with basketball and he took advantage of it at the right time. Mm. So uh, I'm very happy for Brahman. Always being able to work with him is such a beautiful thing. So uh, this is, I guess, my only other time to get to coach with him <laughs> yeah. or be with him on the floor because uh, we're on separate teams now. So uh, I always, uh, I'm always grateful to be with Brahman. I know you're missing working with, uh, with him though. <laughs> you, know, you know, like I said, I, yeah. I said in an interview before, the reason I actually came with her originally mm. was because of Brahman. Uh, obviously, you do a little bit too, but originally that was the whole thing. I said that in an interview years ago. Mm -hmm. That was the reason I came here. So uh, I always appreciate it, Mom. Yes, how much fun. You like working with kids, huh? You yeah, know, working man. on their game. Yeah, you know, it's a different thing, to be uh -huh. honest, because uh, it's been quite a while since I really worked with kids. A couple of years back, a different club I was with, I did a lot of clinics and things mm -hmm. with kids. Uh, but getting back into it with the young ones, Make a lot of mistakes, but having a lot of fun, and uh, you just see the joy in their eyes and uh, how much they want to learn. So I enjoy it because it's a little bit different. It's not as serious, um, and you're able to have a little bit more fun. So uh, I'm actually learning a lot too, so I'm enjoying it. What did you learn? I just think uh, 
being a little bit more calm, um, <laughs> having a little bit more patience, and having a little bit more fun, to be quite honest. Um, although people make mistakes and things like that, you gotta be patient, with, especially with these kids. Um, and I think I could probably translate that over to my coaching. But you can see uh, the kids in Indonesia, they get talent, right? Yeah, man, they do. They uh, really do. We got kids, you know, eight, nine, 10 years old right mm. now, uh, making beautiful moves, and moves like they're 16 years old. So I think the future is bright. Uh, then working with a guy like Brom and Firdan and all these guys that get to train them uh, is just going to prepare them for the next level and as they go higher. So uh, this is what Indonesia basketball needs is that grassroots. Uh, I think it can even be better, but they're doing the right thing right now. There's one kid that keep calling himself Yuda, huh? Yeah, <laughs> you know, it's so funny because yeah. I guess it's like his idol. Yeah. But I came into the gym yesterday and he comes up to me, he goes, I said, how you doing? I said, what's your name? He goes, Yuda. I was like, whoa. <laughs> so right there and then I said, you know what? I'm going to call you Yuda, man. And every time he's out there, he's loving it. It's now, now he's Yuda. So, yeah. <laughs> so how do you plan to, you know, spend this off season? Uh, you know, try to get with my family first. Mm -hmm. um, it's been almost 11 months. So yeah. go see my mom, go see my dad, go see my brother, go see my friends, some of my family members. Just kind of relax a bit, mm -hmm. reset. It's been a long season. Um, and then obviously get back to it. But right now I just want to reset and get home and see some people. And the $1 million question. Everybody probably, you know, asking for this question. Uh, are you going to come back? Let's wait and see. Let's wait and see. All right, there you go. All right. Bram, nggak capek di lapangan basket terus. Capek lah. <laughs> udah ada istri, um, udah ada liburan belum sih? Abis final kemarin? Belum, belum, belum. Paling ada kayak sehari break. Tapi abis itu ya udah jalan lagi aja. Uh, ya ada tanggung jawab lebih lah. Tapi kayak seneng ya? Gitu. Seneng sih. Gua ini ada fin gua sih. Cuman lebih kayak ke coach Steve kan waktunya juga nggak banyak. Hmm. Um, dia harus balik. Terus kayak pas kita chat, oh ternyata waktunya pas. Let's go do it lah. Abis itu, abis ini baru saya libur juga. Masih lama libur. Ini kayak perkembangan di For The Lab lumayan cepet loh. Bung Riti kayak lumayan banyak. Lu gimana cara bagi waktunya antara main basket untuk SM dan jadi trainer dan juga founder For The Lab? Um, ya mulai kan uh, gue tuh beruntung banget. Gue punya Nikita sama Kevin yang bantu gue buat jalanin ini di balik. Di baik, ya di baik layar juga sih sebenarnya ya. Maksudnya gue tetap aktif sebagai atlet. Mereka yang jalin operasionalnya. Mereka yang... Pastiin semua ini tetap bisa berjalan, jadi kayak kerjaan gue sih jauh lebih mudah sebetulnya. Gue cuma nih, perlu ngambil kayak uh, keputusan-keputusan kayak ya yang lebih uh, direksional lah, lebih keputusan bisnis aja gitu. Jadi kayak tetap bengainya mereka yang atur semua. Kalau untuk lu sendiri for the lab nanti pengennya seperti apa sih goalnya? Um, kan kan sebenarnya tujuannya for the lab ini hmm. ada ketika gue dia lagi di masa-masa susah gue, ketika gue nggak gajian gitu. Hmm. Jadi ya gue pengen For the Life ini bukan cuma punya gua tapi punya lebih banyak punya lebih banyak pemain profesional lagi. Kayak kita pengen uh, ada pemain pemain yang memang capable buat bagi ilmunya ke anak-anak hmm. dan mungkin bisa bisa buka cabang baru buat For the Life. Jadi kayak benar-benar jadi wadah hmm. buat pemain tuh biar beres basket tuh nggak bingung lagi mau ngapain gitu harusnya. Hmm. Pengennya tuh kayak gitu. Jadi uh, ya mungkin mereka akan mulai kayak sedikit involve sedikit 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 di For the Life. Mereka tahu caranya hmm. dan Gue berharap setelah mereka pensiun, mereka bisa punya cabang sendiri. Hmm, okay. Tapi seberapa penting sih untuk lo berbagi ilmu dengan anak-anak ini? Uh, Kalau di buku tuh gue pernah baca buku, kita semua tuh orang-orang yang punya privilege. Hmm. Kita semua tuh orang yang punya privilege. Se -se -enggak, enggak punya lo privilege, lo tuh tetap pasti ada yang namanya privilege. Lo bisa sekolah di sini, lo bisa mungkin kepikiran untuk ini, lo punya otak yang mungkin bisa mikir. So, buat gue ya, apa yang lu punya itu harus dibagiin jangan nggak nggak bisa disimpan sendiri nggak ada guna kalau disimpan sendiri masih harus dibagiin kalau lebih banyak. Ini ada rencana mau buka di kota lain nggak sih selain Jakarta dan Bandung? Um, ada beberapa tawaran-tawaran-tawaran cuman hmm. um, kita lagi kaji lebih lebih apa ya lebih serius lagi gimana caranya biar ini tuh bisa terjalan dengan kita nggak mau kayak buka bikin cepet-cepet buka gitu yeah. kayak kita pengen standarnya terjaga visi misinya terjaga apa yang bisa kita bagiin ke anak-anak itu -anak terjaga dan ya har harusnya semua makin bagus gitu gimana rasanya kerja sama dengan coach Steve lagi nggak <laughs> <laughs> <Kita> tahu <laughs> gua 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 kangen coach Steve sih ya oh ya gua senang banget bisa kerja bareng coach Steve lagi kayak bisa satu lapangan lagi bisa lihat dia uh, ngelatih lagi Meskipun bukan gue yang dilatih ya gitu, but I'm so happy gitu. Apa sih yang lu paling apa ya panutan panutin dari coach Dave? Am um, jujur, um, 
Coach, Coach Dev adalah salah satu role model gue ketika latih hmm. Banyak banget gayanya dia, caranya dia ngomong, cara dia menyampaikan detail uh, Filosofi-filosofi yang dia pegang itu gue tularin ke anak-anak um, termasuk Fir dan Timo mereka udah mereka begitu kayak datang oh mereka udah tahu oh maunya tuh kayak gini karena kita sama-sama di coach Steve gitu. hmm. so buat gue ya gue seneng banget kayak role model gue tuh bisa isi camp ini bisa hadir di sini dan bisa kayak kita bisa kerja sama sama saya tuh tapi banyak loh bintang tamunya lu Brandon itu Gokil sih uh, Balik lagi kita ngomong tentang privilege yeah. Itu privilege gue sebagai pemain profesional <laughs> Asik juga sih <laughs> Jadi mimpinya apa nih? Kalau untuk for the lab mimpinya apa nih? Mas. Visinya ya pasti market leader untuk di bisnis ini kayak Ketika hmm. lo ngomong, oh mau belajar basket? That's for the lab That's for the lab Bentar lagi jadi warga Bandung ya? Abis nikah <laughs> <laughs> Gimana bapak? Abis nikah jadi warga Bandung nih? <laughs> Ya tunggu update KTP ya. Iya, yeah, oke okay, thank you, Bram.